All right, it's time to take on the Magnetic Cavern. My claws are unaffected. Don't worry, I can do it with my magic. All right, so from this point on, we need to de-equip everything that's metallic. Uh, I'm going to do this dungeon de-equipped and just run away from every battle. If you want to fight, uh, you should go back to Troya and you can buy uh, non-metallic weapons and armor in their shops. They have uh, bows and arrows which can be equipped. So you can equip Cecil and Sid with a bow and arrow and then Tella can use his magic. Yang can still use his claws. Of course, they'll have to equip cloth armor. Uh, but, yeah, you know what? Just for the sake of simplicity, I'm just gonna run away from, uh, from all the battles while I uh, collect the treasures in this cave. Unicorn horn, okay. Let's see what's over here. Mind Flayer, guy, you uh, old school Final Fantasy players will remember those guys were uh, were guarding the crown in the first Final Fantasy game. Okay, there's nothing over there, so let's continue on. Oh, there's a door over here. Those are always useful. And Gil! Yeah, that's good. I feel like they've readjusted the enemy encounter rate. It was one thing that was annoying, especially with the earlier Final Fantasy games. It was like, oh, it's almost every two or three steps you run into an enemy. Let's save at the save point, and then you lose traction. It's like, okay, you fight a battle, you're done, and then it's like, okay, was, was I going north? Was I going south? Was I... But, uh, yeah, the, the enemy encounter rate in this game is, is not too bad. Three treasures here. High potion, spider silk. Hourglass, okay, that's good. Let's get out of here. Go over here. Bunch of snakes. Let's run away from those guys. Can't get through there. We'll have to go up the uh, center, I guess. We've done enough grinding, so no need to fight every single enemy. Fairy Claw. Okay, that's for a young. Getting close to the end of this uh, dungeon. On the right is a save point. Save here. Don't worry about using a tent. We'll uh, we'll get our power refilled uh, later. And then there's another treasure that you have to walk around the back of that. Uh, 
door to grab, so let's go grab it. Emergency exit. That'll come in handy a little bit later when we're done. Then we won't have to uh, spend our time walking all the way back through the dungeon to get uh, back out again. Okay, we're at the Dark Elf. You will never get the crystal. You cannot defeat me with those weapons. Okay, so this is a battle you cannot win. One of the trademark Final Fantasy mandatory losses. So just do whatever until the Dark Elf uh, kills your guys, basically. So he gets a, a triple magic attack, basically. Fire, Thunder, Blizzard, and we're down. If I could use my sword. Cecil is in danger. They're all in danger. Okay, so it's Edward to save the day. Interesting thing, if you don't talk to Edward at all, and you don't get the twin harp, and you just go directly into the magnetic cave to the Dark Elf, he'll just wipe you out. He'll do like 9,999 damage straight away. So, don't waste your time. Make sure you talk to Edward and, and get that twin harp first. That melody, it's Edward. Ah, what a torturous sound. All right, so he can't control the magnetic field. We can finally equip our, uh, our metallic weapons and armor. So let's go do that. Let's go into the menu. Let's equip uh, Yang. Go to Optimal. Okay. And with Cecil, even though the Mithril Sword has a higher attack rating, equip the Sword of Legend. The Sword of Legend does more damage to the Dark Elf. So, in this instance, less is more. So Cecil is going to be our workhorse in this battle. Cecil use a Baku Cider on himself. That's going to put him into an attacking trance. But it will increase his attack power. And let's uh, let's use Tella to cast the haste. And then that will speed up Cecil. And whenever Yang comes around, use his focus to get a high attack power against the Dark Elf. And... Sid and Tella can just be a dedicated healers, basically. If someone needs to be healed, you can use Sid to uh, use a high potion or Tella Kiraga. Magic does not do uh, good damage against this uh, this enemy, so just uh, don't waste your time casting any magic spells against him. Dark Breath, that'll take a good chunk out of our uh, health. And that's it. Pretty easy, right? Big assist from uh, Edward on this. Otherwise we'd never be able to uh, tackle this guy. Got a couple level ups. This cannot be! Okay, so let's grab the Crystal of Earth. And we're gonna walk outside and we'll put that emergency exit we got to, uh, to good use. 
to secure our guys a bit first. And then we'll uh, equip Cecil back with the Mithril Sword for the higher attack power. And emergency exit will take us out to the entrance, and then we'll get back on the black chocobo. And he'll just automatically pilot himself back to the chocobo forest. Okay, so we'll uh Let's cure our guys with magic, and then we'll talk to White Chocobo to refill our MP. We won't uh, waste any any money uh, on a hotel. And get a yellow Chocobo, and that's gonna walk us back to uh, Troya without any enemy encounters. There we go. Save as always, save, 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 you can never save enough in RPGs. And let's show the clerics that we have the crystal again. Oh my goodness. The earth crystal, you have returned it to us, hooray. Okay, so it's Kane's voice. Board my ship and bring the crystal with you. I will take you to Rosa. Okay, so talk to everybody. You see the one cleric said you're free to take the treasures from the storeroom. Remember before, when we first came to the castle, there was a storage room we couldn't get into. Well, now we can get in there and, uh, and clean out the treasures. From this point of the story on, you are stuck airship-wise. As soon as you get into the airship, Cain will come and meet you and, and bring you to the Tower of Zot. So, if you do want to go anywhere now, you're going to have to go to that North Forest again and take a Black Chocobo. Okay, so let's go to the left. And that guard will, uh, will let us into the storage room. Okay, hey, there's a lot here. Uh, high Potion, Remedy, Ether, Dry Ether, Elixir, Echo Herbs, Great Bow, Fire Arrow, Thunder Arrow, Echo Herbs, Silver Apple. You can use the Silver Apple on a Cecil. will increase the maximum HP by 50. That's handy, that's that's definitely an item that uh, wasn't present in the original Super Nintendo release back in uh, the early 90s. So now we're ready to tackle the Tower of Zot. Get out of the castle. And you see as soon as you get in the airship, there the Red Wing airship comes to meet you. Where is the Earth Crystal? I have it. Where is Rosa? In the Tower of Zot.
or both go up. Gold bez, okay, so gold bez is here also. <clears throat> Bring the crystal and we will make the trade. Okay, so we're back to fighting enemies again. No need to run away. A lot of these enemies are weak against the fire magic. Above telecast the fire spell. Fire up. There's a treasure. A flame mail, so we'll equip that on a Cecil. Ice Lizard and Hell Turtle. The Hell Turtle is the Absorb Fire. Show you in a minute. And of course, Ice Lizards being ice, they're they're weak against fire. So it's gonna hurt two guys and heal two guys basically. And then we'll have our attackers just uh, wear down the turtles. There we go, won the battle, we'll definitely have to heal after that, Got a couple level ups. So Tella's in the 500s for HP. this door. Okay, move down, move down, move down. Let's see, okay, got a couple more uh, ice enemies, so cast fire on those guys. Ice storm, that, that doesn't do very much on us, hardly did anything. Wow, that was big damage. That's a dead end down there. Okay, let's go up here. Sometimes it's difficult to tell which, uh, which paths you can walk through. They've got a 3D design going there. Okay, Puppet and Puppeteer, make sure you kill the the one in the back first. If you kill one of the front two, they'll just indefinitely spawn uh, puppets. That's actually a good way you can level grind. If you do want to spend some time here level grinding, you can just kill the puppets and leave the Puppet Master at the back, and then they'll, they'll keep respawning and respawning, and each one you kill will just add to your total experience at the end. Okay, can go through there. And again, you know, kill kill the puppeteer in the back. So they can't respawn. The enemies in this tower are not uh, not difficult at all. It's a pretty pretty easy dungeon. Oh, 
Monsters, okay. So, fire monster, we gotta attack it with uh, ice, obviously. Use Blizzara. Now that he's confused, he's just gonna heal himself by casting fire. Okay, this should do big damage. Yep, and he's done. Flame Sword, okay. Give that to Cecil. Say goodbye to the Mithril Sword. And we got some uh, purple Bavrios. <laughs> Remember in the Super Nintendo version, uh, those were all named after desserts, like one was called Tofu, one was called Pudding. The ghosty guys, uh, yeah, basically you have to use magic to kill them. We your weapons won't, uh, won't do anything. Okay, let's cure our guys. Cecil's uh, maxed out for magic now. That's the only six uh, magic spells he can learn as a as a paladin. Snake up and down. Okay, puppet and puppeteer. You guys know what to do by now. our way around. If you get low on MP, use ethers. Don't be shy about using ethers. There's there's plenty in the, in treasure chests all over. The lower path also brings you here. So you're you're free to choose which whichever one you want. Basically, I took the upper one. All right. So Tella, this is going to be your work. Physical attacks won't really do anything against these guys. Come with the most powerful fire spell. And it's done. And Sid got to level up. Sid's getting closer to cracking the 1000 HP barrier. Okay, on this floor, there will be some uh, more treasures for us. Got a couple ice based enemies, so you guys know what to do. That's our friend Tella's job. Or Cecil, now he has the fire sword. He can he can do pretty heavy damage against these guys. Let's heal up. Because Yang is a monk, his HP goes up uh, quite high with each level up. Okay, got these purple ghosty things again. So, gotta get them with magic.
Fire Oz is uh, plenty strong enough to get those guys. I just used Fire Aga before to uh, to overkill them. <laughs> Hell Claw. Okay, so that's for Yang. Let's equip Yang with that in place of the Thunder Claw. And then there's another treasure at the bottom here. Like I said, enemies in here not not difficult at all. Guys probably should be around uh, level 25, level 25 to 30, and you'll have no problems uh, tackling the Tower of Zot. Flame Shield, okay. Again, that's for Cecil. So let's equip him. Oh good, ice enemies. Okay, let's put our fire magic and fire sword to work. Done deal. Find myself in this version of the game using a lot of ethers. <clears throat> Remember the Super Nintendo version uh, didn't have to use so many. Gaia Hammer. Okay, so that's for Sid. Let's give him that up his attack power and let's see what's behind door number three a couple ice lizards and gremlins to tackle first wow that's big damage big damage from Cecil's flame sword Guys is confused. If you guys ever get confused, uh, an attack will uh, snap them out of it. Obviously, you want to use whoever has the lowest attack power. You don't want to do big damage to your own guys. And this piece of armor is for Tella. No equip him with that. So if anybody but Tella gets confused, then obviously you can use Tella's staff, and it'll do low damage. Or if Tella's the one that's confused, uh, I 
guess that would be Sid's uh, hammer that would do uh, the lesser amount of damage as compared to Cecil and Jan. Gotta make our way through that door over there. Kick. Kick will wear everybody down a little bit. Oh, Tella's almost out of uh, MP again. I guess we'll have to use another Ether after this fight. Everybody up and onward we go and there is a save point right here so we've got about 30 minutes of footage I'm gonna stop the walkthrough episode right here use a tent save up Make sure you guys like and subscribe to my channel and uh, join us back next time where we got a boss battle to tackle versus the Magus sisters. <laughs>